first graders, it is Mrs. Baker and Duke here saying happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week so far and today we have another math lesson. But first, let's take a look at our morning message. Are you ready, Duke? Alrighty. Dear first graders, today is Wednesday. I hope you were able to practice asking questions using who, what, where, when, and why yesterday. Today you will practice telling time using a digital clock. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Love, Mrs. Baker. Remember, you can go on Seesaw and make corrections to this note. As I mentioned in the note today, we are talking about digital time and we are telling time to the hour using digital clocks. At the bottom it says Amelia wakes up for school at 7 o'clock. Use the clock to show the time. Write the time on the digital clock. So if it is 7 o'clock when she wakes up, you are going to be adding a number to the hour side of the digital time. The hour side is on the left side. So as you can see, I added a 7 to the hour side of that digital time to show 7 o'clock. Does this look like time you might see on a cell phone or maybe on your stove kitchen at your home? On the next page, page 596, it talks a little bit more about that digital clock. Remember earlier this week we talked about analog clocks. It says another type of clock is a digital clock. A digital clock uses numbers to show the hour and the minutes. The clock shows two o'clock. So you can trace over that two o'clock on the clock on the right. And you see that the hour is just the two and the minutes we show using a zero, zero. Whenever the, the minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12, you show that on a digital clock with a zero, zero. For numbers one through four, you are going to read the time on the analog clock, that round clock, and then you are going to write the time on the digital clock. I've added red and blue lines to the digital clock to match up with the red and blue hands on the analog clock. Remember, the red hand is pointing to the hour and the blue hand is pointing to the minutes. When the blue hand is pointing straight up at the 12, you write zero, zero on the right side of the digital clock. And I put that reminder up on the paper here too. For numbers five through 10, you are going to be doing the same thing. You are going to be reading the analog clock and writing the time on the digital clock. This time I've not included the lines on the digital clocks. So it will be your job to remember where you put the hour number and where you put the minutes number. On the back side, on the very last page, number 11 says Rachel goes to the cafeteria to eat at 11. She is there for one hour. What time does she leave the cafeteria? So I put the addition sentence you will use to solve this up on the screen. 11, the time she went to the cafeteria, plus one, the number of hours she was in the cafeteria, equals what, first graders? What time will it be when she leaves? Number 12, says Mrs. Webb's class came in from recess at two o'clock. They were at recess for an hour. What time did they go out to recess? And this time, first graders, we need to subtract. We have the time they are coming in. We need to know what time it was an hour before they came in. So we are going to subtract two minus one equals what? For both problems 11 and 12, make sure you're writing the answer on the line, but
but also writing that time in the digital clock. All right, at the bottom, it says, explain how a digital clock shows the time. I've written a sentence on the lines there, but I did not complete the sentence. If you look off to the left, there is a word bank. It says minutes and hours in the word bank. You are going to fill in the blanks of the sentence using the words. The sentences, the hmm, are shown on the left and the hmm are shown on the right. Where are the minutes and the hours shown on a digital clock, first graders? Write that sentence on your paper.